This is Colby Evans, and you're listening to the podcast, I Wish I Never Said That. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and if you're not, maybe this can turn your day around Maybe this can help. And just know that I'm always here for you and we're always here for you. So try to make it a better day if it's not going great. Try to get outside and always remember to move your body because it's so important. We owe it to our bodies. We owe it to us to do the things that are gonna make us feel good. Right now, I'm standing in front of my mirror. I'm standing in front of my mirror with the light on and I wanna tell you guys a story. For a very long time, I hated my body. I didn't just hate my body, I never knew how to accept it. I would criticize my arms and my stomach and my cellulite and my rolls, and I would make fun of myself in front of the people that were around me because I felt so uncomfortable inside my body. And it saddens me because if I could go back to when I was in high school, to when I was just becoming this person and I was growing, she was beautiful, but she never saw it. And now I am in a pretty bad situation and I'm working on it. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I would be considered overweight. And most people would like to call it obese, fat, and yeah, It's not easy. I'm not gonna say that I hate it or I hate myself or I wanna give up. If you would have talked to me a year ago or two years ago, I would have ignored it. I would have told you, yeah, I'm doing great. I lost 10 pounds and I would be lying because I just never wanted to look at a scale. I hate scales. The scale was just always a lie. And I share that with you guys because if you do weigh yourself every day, I just want you to know the number on the scale doesn't mean anything because like you can lose weight in so many different ways and it's not always going to be numbers. You know, your muscle, if you lift, everyone's body is different. So if you're weighing yourself every day and you've learn to have this really bad relationship with a scale or weighing yourself or just being so critical to yourself, I would give you the advice to throw it away. Someone who you might be training with or if you're working with someone would tell you to weigh yourself every week. I don't like the scale because I just think it's really bad for your mental health, but it's also good because it's also good to know where you're at, but that's up to you. But I hate the scale. And I'm here to tell you why. I love my rolls. I love my cellulite. I love when my thighs rub up against each other. And I love when my arms dangle. I learned to love them. I learned to cherish them. I tell them every day, I'm proud of you. You're beautiful, you're brave, and you're strong. I know that I'll never be a size two, and I know that I'll never be a size seven. Because guess what? We're all given a body, and we're all given a shape and a physique. So you better own it, and you better wear it, and you better accept it. For a very long time, my problem was accepting the body that I was given. I wanted everyone else's body but my own, just to learn that I had a pretty good body. I just didn't want to give my body what it wanted. You know, we we get so carried away in our lives that we forget that this body that is attached to our head is so important. It moves. It puts out energy. It It's the thing that keeps you going. And if you're not moving it, try moving right now and and look at your arms and move your legs and move your feet and tell that those different parts of your body that you appreciate them, that you love them, that you're gonna work to make them better. That's 
when I started to realize that I can do this. It took many months, many months. I wouldn't even say months, it's taken me years to learn how to re-appreciate my body. I wanted to talk about this today because I would be lying to say that I'm okay right now with where I am with my body. Because I'm not, and I'm not mad at myself, I'm telling myself that I can be better. I'm telling myself that I can be better. I'm telling myself that I can work at it. I think I bring this up because it's really hard to go on social media these days and to see all of these different influencers. And you know what? God bless these influencers because they have hard jobs. But if you're just sitting there looking at these photos and telling yourself, oh my God, I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I need to fit into that outfit. Listen, stop doing that to yourself. There are so many, there are so many good things about eating a nice meal and enjoying yourself and just to put yourself at risk, to harm your body, to put yourself through that, just so you could wear that one outfit that might only be in that size. You know what? Screw that. Screw that brand. Because you should be able to express your body in any way that you want, the way it is. And that doesn't mean that you have to stop eating or you have to look a certain way in order to fit in to the life that you want. You have to realize that people should like you any way that you are. And if they don't, then they're not really good people. And that's where my weight was really hurting me. It was so hard to have conversations with people. It was so hard for me to walk into a room. It was hard for me to get up and wanna walk past someone. I hated the way that my arms would dangle with the fat that was loose. I hated the fact that my stomach was starting to bulge out and there was no way to stop it because it had gotten there. But one day I decided to come home and to look at myself in the mirror and to tell myself that I can do this, that I don't need any diet plan, that I don't even need to buy into all these fad diets or whatever you call them. These diets that make you spend all these money, this money, and spend all your time and tell you, if you eat this one bar in the morning and you stop eating for the next three hours and then you eat another bar and then you have one meal, you'll lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Well, guess what? It doesn't work. And if you do do that and it works, trust me, down the line, you'll see the weight and it will come back. Because that's temporary. Diets are temporary. It's all about moderation. It's all about being inter- in focus with your body. It's all about having a routine. It's all about doing the right things. And it's about appreciating what you were given. It would be really easy to go get surgery and get it removed. And some of us, we've done it. And some of us were thinking of doing it. And then there's some of us that actually have to because we get to a certain point where we just have nowhere to go. And I know this is probably very hard for people to listen to because I sound, I might be, I might sound like I'm being mean, but I'm not. I'm talking about this because we are given shortcuts in life and then we're also given we're given shortcuts and we're also given the tools that we can use to succeed. And sometimes we need to use the tools to succeed. Perfect example. For a very long time in my life, about a year ago, I would just eat my feelings. I love food. I'm a foodie. I love a good meal. But it got to the point where my depression and my anxiety and just trying to be a woman was so hard. I was so critical. I was so hard on myself. I just, I distanced myself. I closed myself off because I was so ashamed of what I had done to my body. I felt my skin ripping, stretch marks coming. I saw them coming. I remember the days when I'd be walking up the hills near my apartment building in DC 
And there was just one day where like I lost my breath and I sat down and I felt my legs kind of expanding. And I said to myself, you're not loving your body. You're hurting it. It's talking to you. It's giving you these signs that you need to start to love yourself again. It wasn't telling me to go jump on a scale and weigh myself every day because that was not going to work. That was going to ruin my mind, my mindset, because there's so many different things that can make you gain a pound. You have a cup of water, or you get your period, or if you have a snack late at night, like your weight is always going to fluctuate and your body can change and you cannot lose weight and it can look like you lost weight, but it's all weird. So I don't know. I get it. People use the scale, but I hate it. And I use a different method. And this is the method I'm talking about. So I said to myself, maybe if I start to love every part of my body, I'll start to love myself again. And I didn't know how to accept it. I didn't know how to talk about it. I was so ashamed. I remember always being like, I would always lie to myself. Like, I remember I did this diet and I was working with a close friend doing it and it was so hard. And every week I had a weigh in and there was this competition. And I remember I used to take my scale and I would put it on the carpet because I just didn't want to see the number. It scared me, it freaked me out. And at that time, in that moment, I took the scale and I threw it away. So this thing is fucking evil. It's horrible. It's just killing my brain. I can't do this. But I really was so overly sad and depressed and traumatized and didn't know how I could carry on being a woman because I was overweight. And I felt like in today's world, fat people, fat people, they're treated differently. Fat people are looked at differently. Fat people are seen as lazy. Fat people are seen as incapable. And it's so wrong. But then if you see someone who's skinny, who walks in the room, they're known as very proper and pretty and have it together. And they're, they've got it all going on. Well, newsflash, that is so wrong because everyone is gifted. Everyone is given a talent. Everyone has a different body. But I will tell you that if you start to love your roles, if you start to love your cellulite, if you start to love your stretch marks, if you start to love your love handles and love the body that you were given and you show it and you own it, even when it might seem a little tight, you're going to start to love yourself and your body's going to start to give you what you want. It sounds crazy, but it's true. For the past four years of my life, I bought about every diet out there. I know, kind of embarrassing. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. Some of them were great, and then some of them were like, why would I stop having ketchup on my burger? I mean, that is such an important component to my burger. Why would I stop having cheese? I mean, I love cheese. I can't have cheese every day, but I'm never gonna just stop having it. Cheese is good. In every diet I would do, you couldn't eat this, you couldn't eat that, you couldn't have this, you couldn't have that. You can only, at this time, you only could eat at that time. And it started to take over my life. All I cared about was these diets and like thinking that they were working when honestly they were depriving me of my life. They were taking over my life and I wasn't learning how to thrive and spread my wings and fly and do the things that I love. But when I started to love every component of my body, my legs, my arms, my stomach that has stretch marks on it right now, I'm not afraid to say it. They're there. And you know what? I love them. And you know what? One day, they're still going to be there. But I'm going to work to make them better. And I'm going to show up for them. And I'm going to do the things that I can do to make them better. But that doesn't mean I'm just going to throw everything away, cut everything cold turkey, and think it's just going to all go away instantly. 
It hurts the people that are overweight like me. It hurts when we have to be around other people and hear them complain that they're overweight. Because honestly, when you're given the body and you ha look good and you're doing well and you see progress and you know that you're showing up, you don't need to complain about it. You need to own it. There are so many people that wish they were in other people's shoes when it comes to the way their body is, the way they look. And it saddens me sometimes to hear people say that they hate their bodies when I'm like, you're beautiful. You're so lucky. You might have things going on in your life. You might have a hard time with food. You might have a hard time with your weight. But I'm trying to tell you guys, you gotta own it. And if you think that the, these people out there that are you know, trying to show body positivity, these people that are telling women that you don't need to be a size zero, that you don't need to be a size two, that you don't need to starve yourself before going to the beach for a week, that you don't need to starve yourself for the party on Friday and Saturday, that you don't have to look like this tiny little thing. Let me tell you something. Strong, big, thick is the new sexy. So own it. And know that you can make these changes. Now, if you use the scale, try not to weigh yourself every day and try not to think too hard about it. You know, think of your scale as a way of maybe getting in front of the mirror, looking at your body, appreciating every part of it and using that as a new method to see your progress. Because I never could look at myself in the mirror. I used to actually go into the bathroom with the lights off and brush my teeth because I just did not like what I saw. It was very frustrating. And I will say in the past year, I started brushing my teeth with the lights on. It's pretty cool. I smile at myself occasionally when I see myself in the mirror. And I now look at myself every morning and I tell myself that I can do this and that I'm capable and that I am brave and that I am beautiful and that I can do anything that I set my mind to. So if you are struggling with your body and you feel down and you feel stuck and you feel like you can't get up or be around all of the people in the room, get up, own it. Before you get up, tell yourself that you love every part of your body and know that people will stare at you because people are mean, people are rude, people like to make people feel uncomfortable. Well, you know what? Show them that you're comfortable. Show them that you have accepted that this is where you are right now in your life and you're working on it and it's none of their business. It's really hard for people who are overweight, people that are struggling with this every day to hear all these people that don't have to struggle with it act like they're they're too big or they're you know like think about the person that is overweight if they could flip the switch tomorrow and be a certain way you know we would all love that ticket but it's hard everyone goes through different things in life everyone's given a different body some people you know can't work out some people have leg problems arm problems everyone's born with different things you know i mean i was born with a learning disability that has affected me in many ways in my life but that's something that i have to accept and i have to work around and i can't just squash it okay and some people who are overweight they can't just squash it there's many different things that go into it but I'm telling you that if you are trying to lose weight, if you are trying to find that steady path, that path that's gonna lead you throughout your whole life, not just for a month or for a week, a path that you can set, that you can use every day, is gonna help your body become the body that it needs to be. We never are gonna be able to get back that body that we had in high school. Because the truth is, when we get older, our body changes. We change, you know? Things change in our body. Things grow, things get bigger, things that get bigger that we will never be able to make smaller. You know, everyone's different. 
But I'm so proud to share this with every single one of you who is listening because a year ago, I couldn't even speak about this. I couldn't even walk down the beach. I couldn't even sit on the couch without putting a pillow over my stomach. I couldn't even leave the house without a coat. I even had friends look at me some days and say, aren't you hot? And I said, well, it's better than people seeing my arms. And you know what? That sucked. It was either I had to have these dangling thing, fat arms hanging out, or I could hide them and no one would get to see them. But one day, I took my coat off and I said, I love these babies and they're gonna shine like the Chrysler building. So I'm, I'm showing them to the world. I'm wearing shirts where I can see my arms. I'm wearing dresses that I can feel my body. I'm wearing clothes that fit my body. I'm not wearing extra large, large, not extra large, because I am a 1X. I'm all different types of sizes. I do not, I, I hate that if you're a size large, that means you're overweight or obese. It's, that's not the truth. You could have a big butt and still be large and have a small top. Like everyone's body is different. But when the minute I said to myself, I love my arms, I love my legs, I love my thighs, I love when they rub together, I love this body. I came out of my cocoon, I came out of my shell, and I said, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna own it. And you know what, it's not gonna be perfect. And every day is gonna be hard, and it's not gonna be easy, and it's gonna be very easy to get in my head and put myself down and give up. But you know what, I kept pushing, and I kept pushing. And every time I wanted to go back and put the coat back on, I took it back off. And I said, no matter how uncomfortable I am in this very single moment, I'm making my arms better. I'm making my body better. So fuck the scale, F the diets. It's all about moderation. It's all about learning to love yourself. And once you can love yourself, you don't need to go on a diet. You don't need to starve yourself. You don't need to put yourself on a 1200 calorie deficit diet. You don't need to intermittent fast. You don't need to buy the next diet that your friend's calling you about. And I'm sure I called some of you guys about the diet that I sold a year ago. And I just did not like that. And I felt very uncomfortable because I was like, why am I selling this if I don't even like diets? But I'm here to share this with you guys because I believed in diets. I believed in putting myself through these harmful things, body shaming, putting myself on that pedestal. And I told myself no more. And you know what else I told myself? If someone wants to judge me, if someone wants to look at me, if someone wants to look me up and down, well, you know what? There's something in their life that's not going well. And they just want to take their anger out on someone else. And they just want to put you down. Because no matter how big you are, no matter how uncomfortable you are, you got to own it. You got to dress it up, okay? I have a lot of clothes in my wardrobe right now, and a lot of them don't fit me. And some of the clothes that fit me right now, I have to rewear three times out of the week, the same pants. They're comfortable because they're what work on my body right now. And one day, I'm gonna be able to wear another pair of pants that look good on me, that I feel good in. It's all about feeling good and feeling comfortable and owning it and putting yourself out there and taking that first step. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna feel weird. It's gonna feel like the first time you ever got a little cut on your leg when you fell off your scooter as a kid. It's those little band-aids that you keep tearing off, that you keep pulling off. That's when you're gonna start to see the progress. That's when you're gonna start to see yourself relieving all the pain that's deep inside of you, that's stopping you from finding the body that you love, from finding the person that you appreciate. Because the story is, is that deep down, there is a soul, a 
body, uh, everything that's there to shine. But we get so caught in life that we forget to appreciate the body that we're given. We forget to appreciate that we have a body, that we're able to breathe, that we have this voice that we can use. So stop letting weight take over your life. And if you are suffering, tell someone, speak out, open up. There's so many people that are here to help you. And it's not easy to take that first step and to open up about things like this, but it wasn't easy for me to talk about this. But the more I got talking, the more I opened up, the more I got help, the more I spoke out, the more I addressed it with my family and my parents and my boyfriend and my brother and the people that support me, I started to see myself again. I started to see the Colby that I was born to be. So forget the number on the scale, take it out of your mind, okay? Start by telling your body that you love it. Start by telling your body that you're gonna make it better. And stop thinking that you have to be this next model or you have to have abs before next summer. Or you put yourself on all these time punches that if you're not five pounds skinnier by next week or the month after, or you're not at this goal, that it life's over because it's not. And when you put that pressure on yourself, you're only going to gain weight, okay? I can say it myself. I've gained weight from when I've lost weight. And it's been a spiraling effect because I never knew how to appreciate the body I was given. I was hurting it. And now I'm here to show everyone that I love it that I'm gonna own it and I'm gonna make it the best that I can. So thank you so much for letting me tell my story. And I want you guys to know that I'm still working on this. I'm still telling my body every day that I love it. There are days where I go through moments of frustration and feel like I can't get out of bed or I can't get out of my house or I feel uncomfortable walking into my office or being around the people that sit near me or getting up and having a conversation, but I make myself do it and I own it. And I stop saying, I stop saying to myself, oh, you look so bad, or oh, this doesn't look good on you, or oh, you shouldn't be wearing this, or oh, it, it, hey, does this look okay on me? I stopped. I decided that morning I was wearing that because I liked it. So own it. Show the world who you truly are. Show the world that you were born with so many gifts and talents that you want to give to the world and love your body. You were given this life and you were given this body. So treat that body with respect and use this method. Get up in front of your mirror, turn the light on, appreciate yourself and do it every day. Thank you.